with the spot nose yellow belly clone. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. That thing is gorgeous. Yeah. That thing is so pretty. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Top Moon Reptiles. Today is a pretty big day here for me. It's a little rainy, but we're headed up to see my good buddy Garrick from Royal Constrictor Designs. He's got a snake on hold for me. I'm super excited. It's finally ready, so sit back, enjoy the ride, and we'll show you some of the cool stuff Garrick has.
uh, four to five clutches a week yet mm -hmm. is what we've been averaging over the last probably two weeks. But before that, it was, you know, 10 to 12. And I remember back in July, we were getting, you know, sometimes at the worst day, at, well, the worst or best day, depending on how you look at it, the best I had, I had two dozen clutches laid in one day. Oh, that, was, that filled up an incubator <laughs> quick. Right. So, um, yeah, and I'm starting to hatch all those now. I think that was July 4th weekend. Oh, wow. And those are all the eggs that are hatching right now, too. So, I actually think we're maybe slightly beyond that. But we got some pretty, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, these are all 100% hat clown. I got some pastel Mardi Gras. That's a that's hat clown. Be strong. Right there. Yeah, and there's another one. Oh my god. And then pastel ivory, possible NG. I really haven't looked at these all that carefully yet, actually. Yeah, it's, it's probably an NG. Um, that's hat for clown. And then you know, a bunch of stuff that are either asphalt or yellow belly. And their hat clown. This is a super pastel asphalt or yellow belly. The tet for clown. Another one of those. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Super pastel NG. This is a. Oh, yeah, this is a super pastel. I think this is an NG as well. Um, and pastel NG. Um, that's either yellow belly or asphalt. I bred a um, pastel Mardi Gras to uh, kill a yellow belly killer clown. So my goal was to get, you know, two of these, this one and this one right here, because um, I want to make the Mardi Gras clowns and all that kind of stuff. That's more holdback for you there, Gary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yep. see that in here. This is a pastel Enchi hat genetic stripe to cinnamon genetic stripe. So, this is a pewter genetic stripe. Yeah. That is, I think that that is just a cinnamon genetic stripe. Same with this one. Hello. Dark than your way dark than your regular genetic streak. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a cinnamon. I don't know if there's Enchi in that one or not. This is a banana pewter genetic stripe. And then here's a looks like a banana enchi genetic stripe, I think. Yeah, there's it's getting really hard to identify all this stuff. I can tell you that. <laughs> Here's this one. I don't know if you saw my video from last week with the spot nose yellow belly clown. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. That thing is gorgeous. Yeah. That thing is so pretty. I don't have much for spot nose in my clown collection. Well, in my collection at all. Actually, all my spot nose that I have are hat clown. Oh. So that's a blackhead lesser. I'd say there's probably yellow belly in that, but I don't really have a whole lot of experience with blackhead. Mm -hmm. Either way, this is a really cool snake, and I'll probably keep it because it's you know it's half clown, so I want to see what I can do to make you know visual clown versions of that. Right. That's another. I think that's a blackhead, pastel lesser, possible yellow belly, hat clown. It's amazing what Blackhead does to Lesser. It just makes it so dark. Right. Here's another one. Yeah, there it is. So, so I mean, this is all a lot of holdback material here. This is a Enchi Leopard Spider Het Lavender bred to lavender. Oh, this, this is the one you, you showed pictures of this past mm -hmm. week? Yeah, that was so, yeah, I hatched out. This is an Enchi Leopard Spider Lavender. And this is an Enchi Leopard Lavender. And this one's a male and this one's a female. Oh wow, that's so clean. And he's just a little guy. He just had his first meal last week. And then I've also had... Um, let's see, I've got Pastel Leopard Clowns. I 
And then I have this is a black pastel pewter clown. So okay. just black pastel and pastel and clown. And for yeah, I don't know that pinstripe clown female. I really like pinstripe and clown. Inji Woma granite would be good to go with too. I only have pastels here right okay. now. Gosh, that's crazy how busy it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to put the right jeans in there with it, but if you do, you can make some really wild looking stuff. I have a yellow belly. Um, it's, well, take pastel out of this and put yellow belly in it. I have one of those. I showed it on a video not too long ago. It's super clean. It doesn't have the, it's just a lot cleaner than this, a lot higher contrasted. Okay. That's a regular cryptic or krypton. I'm doing a lot of krypton to krypton breeding, so I'm getting clowns and cryptics and kryptons in the clutch. I still haven't figured out how to identify a krypton versus a cryptic. <laughs> this one's got kind of a weird, weird little pattern thing going on in the dark pattern there. It's crazy what they do. Here's a. This is a lemon blast banana cryptic. Krypton, whatever. That's a pinstripe. Oh, that's the, crazy. the head pattern, and, and look at all the the whites on the sides. That is crazy. Yeah.
want to see your little guy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back. So let's check out what I got from Garrick. I actually ended up buying two snakes. The first one is this guy right here. Beautiful. GHI clown. Male. He'll certainly add some darkness, some contrast to my current clown project this guy right here can't wait to plug him in once he gets up to age he's gonna make some beautiful things And the second snake we got is a female. This one I've been waiting for for a long time. GHI Mojave. Hypo, Hypo GHI Mojave. She's just gorgeous. And these definitely get better as they age. Got some big plans for her. Three years can't come soon enough. So I guess in conclusion, these were the two snakes we got from Garrick. I couldn't be happier. Garrick's an awesome guy. So definitely check him out on his YouTube. The Royal Constrictor. His website. Morph Market. Facebook. Anybody that knows Ball Python knows who Garrick is. Got some awesome snakes over there. He always does great, great things. And he's always he always cares about his customers. So thanks again, Garrick. And I'll check you guys out on the next video. So definitely like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment.